हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू महेश इंग्लिश टाइम्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग मी वॉम रिस्पॉन्स एंड लाइकिंग माई चैनल एंड कॉन्टैक्टिंग मी फॉर टेकिंग गाइडेंस रिलेटेड टू रिसर्च और रिलेटेड टू एम्फिल डेजिटेशन आई एम देर टू हेल्प ऑल माई स्कॉलर्स इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज ट्रेंडिंग इन द फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर in research what are the new topics that are coming up that can be taken up by scholars in the field of research and english literature and in that list one uh, point was of digital humanities dh so in this video i'm going to discuss in detail what is dh what topics could emerge for students in dh and actually this topic is for the sub, all subjects of humanities sociology political science economics history all students all streams that are coming out of humanities can do their research in digital humanities but what is more for students of english literature because i am basically a phd guide of uh, english literature so what is the scope of english literature scholars in dh and what is the scope of dh in general not only in with regard to phd thesis but there are n number of job opportunities coming up in the field of dh and i want all my scholars to to do their research in the latest fields to be at power with anybody in this world with any scholar in this world who is doing their phd from cambridge or oxford or jawaharlal nehru university in india anywhere you should be at par and you should know what is happening latest and what can be done so watch this video carefully so let's see what is the scope of digital humanities or dh first we will see the definition so basically digital humanities is the intersection of digital world with different subjects of humanities so as i already mentioned it's not about english literature it could be sociology psychology history political science all these subjects are coming under the realm of digital humanities but at the same time it is how you mix uh, the subjects of humanities in the field of research or studies with the digital world it is a multidisciplinary interdisciplinary approach so all the subjects get mixed up together with uh, digitization so it is like combination of computers role of computers role of digital world role of software apps role of e libraries everything related with humanities so that is a combination now in english literature what work has been done in dh just to get an idea that in the field of english literature in digital humanities what works what projects have been done so uh, in oxford university there have been projects like rossetti archive so archive has been created on the literary figure rossetti then jean austen as a writer her manuscripts uh, have been uh, digitized then global shakespeare performance archive so archive created on the dramas of shakespeare which have been performed globally women writer then you know project of northeast university of boston then in 2009 mla convention i hope you know the mla rules that we follow while writing our phd so mla convention in philadelphia there was a major sub field in digital humanity so these are the projects these works have already been done much in 1930s and 1940s and but it has emerged in india after 2018 but uh, overall in the world digital humanities has been taking uh, taken up as a subject as a subject in ba as a subject in ma and people are doing their post graduation in digital humanities their phd's in digital humanities and getting wonderful jobs so it's not just for doing a phd it's not a phd topic you can have ample number of job opportunities also uh, that also we will see in uh, this video now what is the scope of digital humanities what is the scope of dh so uh, it has scope in digital library it has scope in distant learning so when a student is far away from you when a star student is far away from university you are doing a course from oxford university sitting in india now after pandemic the world has changed everything is going online uh, or in the blended mode so you, how the topics the research topics the study material is reaching the student what apps what things methods are used so whenever anything related to one subject is created on computers there are two experts needed one the subject expert and one the computer expert so that is why combination of computer and and a subject expert of humanities there comes so in distant learning in computational linguistic so computational linguistic in this field is related to the study of languages so how languages are translated from one language to another how we study in depth about the history of languages 
there are so many job opportunities in the world of translation and transnational technology their computational linguistic courses are helpful and they are part of dh then data mining data visualization archiving so there is data how data is a created related to any writer related to any schools and colleges and how they are uh, accumulated data visualization related to graphic novels so when you have uh, you know a data or a book or a story and you are changing it into the visual form that is coming into the periphery of english literature that is coming under the periphery of digital humanities as well all this is scope of dh then i told you there are so many job opportunities if you do your post graduation or phd in dh it's not just teaching the world has opened up widen your horizon search for lucrative jobs earn huge amount of money by doing courses in dh so web designing web programming game study you know data manager digital designer digital curator data scientist data analyst these are the jobs profiles which are needed which are highly in demand all over the world if you do your post graduation in dh if you do your phd in dh you can be appointed at these post and earn lakhs of money in at the multinational level not just in india you could be posted in japan in china you know in australia if you do these courses these are the opportunities these are the jobs created after pandemic and they are in great demand people are looking for manpower people are looking for people who are qualified as data managers and you could be the lucky one to land up a job in that then there are journals in dh like post modern culture e journal this journal you can publish your papers related to uh digital humanities so it's a very very lucrative important field major theorists in, in the in the world of digital humanities these are the people who have given their theories there are books these are people quoted in the world of digital humanities robert busa john barrows hugh craig nancy i these are famous people of digital humanities you must know and these questions related to dh are nowadays asked in various competitive exams in jrf in net in slet these questions are asked the latest books in dh teaching humanities online digital humanities in practice understanding digital humanities these are the books which are published in dh so i recommend i strongly recommend all my scholars that you explore the world of digital humanities read and study about it come up with new topics you can always consult me then how to go about doing your research work or your post graduation graduation in digital humanities and open a world of new job opportunities and lakhs of monies in the field of dh so thank you so much for watching this video and increase my subscription keep liking my videos thank you so much